Hello and welcome back everybody. We are streaming today once again Stationeers. And yes, in the previous episode we have managed to cable everything up nicely and our batteries are charging, sun is high and well we still have some stuff to eat and today we will be getting ourselves more into atmospherics and making gas. So uh, by making a gas that well just sounds weird but uh well today we will be smelting some irons making some more steel because i think i have some steel but not as nearly as much as i would like to have 29 grams not like negligible but still uh so we do have the iron we do need the coal so let's go out and let's do some more mining. Assuming that I managed to get stuff now. All right. Close mold. There we go. So one oxide. Activate. Ooh. Toasty warm. Now time to, we need to do work quickly and put this in. Hold on. Now, 39 iron and coal. 52 grams of steel. Yes, please. Thank you. Close the mold and that's perfect. It's better not for us not to come anywhere near this. But that gives us some steel. Which is much needed by our current auto lathe. Because I want to be constructing steel frames. And I'm going to build an atmospherics room right here. However, auto lathe, I need a little bit more iron. Do you have some iron? You have 30 grams of iron. You tell you what, 50, 12, 19. You go and smelt some iron, will ya? There you go. Jolly on. Chop, chop. Right. I'm going to take my tool belt, place it here, return this one, and no, not you. Right. So, auto lathe, I want to be making an iron cupboard, which I'll move here because here I'm going to be building more steel. And, out, and this one is done. Perfect. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to place iron here, and I want to be building first get locker I'm gonna build <laughs> two of them yeah I wish you're gonna smelt some more buddy tracking beacon and you just stay here you created one kit locker then a locker I need to move here okay you popped out perfect there we go. Awesome. Hi. Also, you have to keep hitting it to melt the oxides. Yeah, thanks, Pythos. Welcome to the show. Uh, yeah, I, I realized that later on. Thanks. All right. Then we build one more. And we shall close the furnace down. We're still not that far out. And then we'll be making it... Okay, stop. I could have just hit the stop button otherwise. Right, now let's turn this bad boy around. There we go. Could I have it here? I could. Awesome. Then I'll need to relocate stuff from this locker and ultimately I'll continue with building on stuff. No, uh, Pythos, they didn't change it to times three. The ratio of... Uh, Iron to steel, iron to copper has to be three to one, but uh, volatiles to oxides is actually two volatiles, one oxide. Right. Okay, so let's see. Uh, now I want to be building steel frames. Steel frames, where is that? Steel frames, there we go. Why? Because, well, they're way more economic than the iron ones. And while this one is happily chugging along, I'm gonna be relocating this stuff here. 
because I plan to move. By the way, Pyrethos, do you know maybe of a better way to transfer everything within the cupboard? Alright, moving ores. <laughs> it would be really cool if you could just move the whole damn cupboard when you have stuff in it. Would be very handy actually. CO2. Okay, let's see how is this auto lathe chugging along. Okay, steel frames, how many do we have? Six. I could use a couple more. Aha, uh -huh, that I didn't know. People to use silicon to mine nitrogen. That I didn't know. Well, thanks for the heads up. It's a handy tip. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm pretty much thinking. Okay, one more. Cool, thanks. Uh, right, steel frames, that's enough. Then we'll need to go into the steel sheets. But for the time of being, let's just keep constructing. Steel frames, I want to build here. So th this is the plan that this should be my gas, gas capture room, hopefully. Here and here, and then I'll need frames. I need two more frames, all right. Two frames. Oh, I didn't know that X3 was a gaggle. Huh. Well, you know, I'm actually quite new to Stationeers. I used to play KSP a lot, and well, but uh, the thing is that uh, with Stationeers, I, I like this type of engineering games, which really force you to think, to build things. I find them very amusing and very relaxing, actually. So, yeah. Uh, steel sheets and now just go into all berserk printing mode and I'll just gonna transfer this by the way this CO2 filter I think I need to change my battery it already warned me so I'm gonna take you change the charge thank you very much and I'm gonna place you back perfect getting some steel sheets there we go ooh atmospheric crew a space station for 13 years jeez that's awesome well I'm a t complete and utter noob I think this is the maybe the second time that I'm actually trying to build atmospherics but I I find actually there is fun in failure as well so yeah do expect that it will happen it's pretty much a given so well okay now let's go and uh, put this to a good weld shall we now as far as I know this have to be airtight so I have to go double frame on those And I know I can always weld them later, but uh, I don't know. I figure it's better to have everything nice and airtight, and then I don't need to worry about anything. There we go. And then I can always disassemble things later on. By the way, do you know if I can actually use the... Okay, I need more, more steel sheets. I'll need a lot of steel sheets for those. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Fully agree on the pear shaped paradigm. Well, well, let's see. Airlock. I've never built an airlock. Well, that's new, but I've seen other people do it, and I want to be doing that myself, but I'm 
having a rather good idea that everything that I build will be completely lopsided and backwards and everything, but hey. What's the fun? Uh, what's the point if you cannot have some fun? So, cool. Uh, now, locker, yes. Okay, did you build enough sheets for me, dear, please? Okay, 11, got it here. And let's go on another spree. Welding spree! And I'm thinking to use actually walls uh, rather than uh, frames everywhere. So this will be just the back side and hopefully this will be fine. Ooh! Yeah, I think I will need one more frame set here. Okie doke. Well, uh, do you know if this will affect... Uh, do I need to mine this part here or will the sand get in and do all kinds of weird shit? You know? Yeah, true. That's, that's true. Okay, deconstructing the locker and I'm gonna put to locker here right then uh, steel walls do, do we have a kit steel walls steel frames glass sheet kit wall what do you need for kit wall one gram of steel well that's cool well build it Oh, you played on Europa. Wow. Is it uh, more difficult than uh, than uh, Mars? I would imagine because there's less sun power and stuff. Actually, this is the first time I'm building with steel and I'm thinking even of going composite, but uh, but uh, I think for the gas capture chamber, I don't need to go composite. I think it will be more important for the hy hydroponics. All right, I think. Okay, let's see how we do deal with eight walls. Okay, so wall, I think I'll need more, but hey, let's work with what we have here. Here. I think three by two should be plenty, so I'm gonna roll with it. There, this will be an, a door. There we go, rotate. There we go, and um, what should I put on top? What do you think? I, I'm, I'm actually thinking of putting the, hold on, how do you put on top? Yeah, like that, composite wall. Okay, I think I got it. Two, I need two more. So, I'm almost done with the steel. I'll need to do some smelting again soon. Well, doesn't matter. And I'll need plenty of steel sheets, but. All right, so, no, actually two. What was I thinking? I need four. <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually thinking on some glass. I'll probably build some composite, but for that you need the steel and glass, right? But you get some glass initially, I, I think, right? So that's composite wall, composite wall, and then I'm thinking here, composite wall. And then I have the kit door somewhere, I should have. I should have kit door come on kit airlock hmm iron wall glass sheets iron sheets double walls can allow you 
to do maintenance wiring and piping yeah I'm gonna do wiring right away while before I actually place the door so hold on is the here kit door I don't remember kit door kit door what do you need three copper all right three copper spit it out there we go stop thank you silver I don't need not nickel I was thinking that was copper dang it okay spit the rest out nickel ingot silver steel yeah copper there you go okay copper there we go spit out the door please I'm mainly saving some steel for the batteries and stuff all right perfect kit door okay so I will place those shortly just after I do the wiring stuff and you silence now how is our battery status okay over the day it's charging so slowly but surely we're winning the power race that's good we have plenty of gold wonderful so now let's do the wiring and um, let me just figure out how do I want to set this up. I want to put here an arc furnace that would be capturing stuff. So uh, arc furnace is, it's, I'm guessing it's with a wrench, right? To disassemble, no. Then what do I use to disassemble this? Yeah, okay, deconstruct, perfect. So arc furnace, I could actually place it even here, somehow, and the power should go here, ins and outs, let me see if I'll have plenty of room here, yes, good, outs, yes, good, and here I can set up the gas capture, hopefully. And over there I can put a locker. Good. So power should go this way. Ah, it's a drill, yeah. I'm still getting used to it. A straight corner junction, four-way junction. Perfect. Now we, oops, not corner, but straight. So just straight onwards. By the way, do you know, I don't know if I will be able to pull the cable through this part and then place the door. I'm hoping that I will be able to. I'm not sure. Because then I want to place the kit light here as well. And then later I'm going to do a logic when, uh, when sensor is off, where, well, when it's night, that these lights are illuminated. And I actually found a way how to do it. It's kind of cool won't be able to do the door okay then I'm gonna go a little bit around them so probably one further okay right then since I have a I have to have all nicely arranged I have to have it this way junction and then I will go back and oh this is handy right so I'll have to do this the hard way here then okay no matter I mean it's all fun and games so cable there we go one additional okay you know what I'm gonna give this a try yeah last door works and the power should it be inside or outside or does it or it doesn't matter I think I could go do it this way right so something like that composite door as the brush pressure resistance right uh, so I, I can choose the composite door right or 
Let me see. Oh, I didn't know that you have multiple types of doors. I just thought it was... Aha. Uh -huh. Composite door. And roll cover. Ooh, cool. Then I'm going to do the composite door. Thanks for the heads up. Awesome. Ooh, and it even looks fancy. Right. Thanks. Uh, now, let's see. Right. So we do want... We don't need the data, I assume. Well, I might as well connect it. Just, you know, don't be lazy stuff. There we go. And another, oops. Then I need my, hold on. Where's my helper tool to for us open the composite door. Thank you. And I first connect, no, I actually want you to be, hmm, I want you to be actually junction. Because from you, I will actually put the, here the light and take the power for the rest of the room, so. All right, and I'll need to create more cables as well as a priority. Electronics printer on, find the recipe. Oh, I see circuit. Oh, dude, I'm nowhere near that, near that advanced, but I will do that for sure. I'll, I'll... Oh, no copper. That's because I put all the copper here. Yeah. Okay. Auto lathe, spit it out, please. I don't think I will be putting stuff in. I don't care if they stay out, but what am I telling? Of course, I'm going to put in because it bugs the hell out of me. Cable coil. Okay. Spit it out, Sonny. The question is, do I have additional kit light? That would be nice, so I don't use the same one. 9 and then 10. Perfect. Okay, now, do I have additional kit light? I think I did have... No, that's power controller, consoles. No, I don't. Then kit light, please, immediately. Kit, light, 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 light. There we go. Find recipe. Iron copper. Not such a big of a deal. Can you use an integrate uh, an integrated circuit, for example, for you know advanced uh, sort of what do you call it airlock stuff? Okay, I think I'm gonna place just for the time being light something like. Hold on. Come on, work with me, please. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Now, I should probably first connect this section. Would be a good start, yes. There we go. Oh, a little bit of blessed silence. You don't say. Junction, there we go. Not for long. Straight, right, so shut up, please. Electronics printer. Then I need more busy work here. Deconstruct cable, there we go. And then I put another junction here. Oh, that's cool. I mean, I, I know that it, it was latest edition, so I think it will be cool that I actually do it at some point, so. Right, so uh, corner facing that way. I wonder if you will be able to pass. You won't. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Hmm. Right. That's it. 
I'm gonna think of something better. So, if I place you like this, that's the output, like this. Then we have input, I can capture still here the materials that come out. I think this would be better, yep. I have a good feeling about this. Not four way corner, but junction straight here. I think it's more efficient design. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and then I can always move the light up beside one more, one corner. So, how do I rotate? Oh, damn you. Come on. Work with me over here. There you go. There you go. And there you go. Perfect. I kind of expected that this would be in the wrong place, but no matter. And I'm wondering if it would actually... Ooh, long wall light. Wow, now that's what I call illuminate. Using the C will do quicker rotation, try to line up with all ports. Oh, that's good to know. Thanks for that. Lots of handy advice. Thank you so much. It's really appreciated. Now, where was I? Um, I wanted now to print a lot of steel sheets. Auto lathe, find the recipe. Steel sheets. I don't think I have any more steel sheets. Oh, I do have some. So if I want to be placing the sun that it comes, if I want the sun to follow, the best way to be on top. So let's see, do all your straights, then select a corner. Hit C while it's in the gap between the two straights. Oh! That's good to know. Oof, dude. I mean, uh, in such short time, I actually managed to learn so much. Thanks a lot. So, if I want to build a composite wall, how do I go about it? Do I just now... Let's see. Construct iron frame. Not iron frame. Why iron frame? I'm using... Just plop the steel on. Why is this? Uh, why does it say iron frame? Did I? Did I mess up something? Hold on. I probably did. No, not you. Which was the one? Is it you? Yeah. Composite wall. Composite window, composite wall. Okay, no, that's correct. So if it's a composite wall, why does it require me? I'm confused. Steel plate, aha, so I don't need the welding tool, or? Aha, okay like that okay got it thank you so that's composite walls okay that i didn't know good composite walls composite walls then i would like composite window actually somewhere up that the, the light comes right so uh i shall probably Here I'm going to use composite wall and here because I'm going to be using actually, there we go, beautiful. And as for you guys, I'm going to do composite window, I guess, here above. Here, here, here. I could 
do it everywhere except above the arc furnace. Yeah, there I'm gonna still remain composite wall. Okay. Right. So, composite wall. You go up and okay, composite wall, composite window. There we go, composite window, composite window, composite window, and here I'm guessing composite window. So this should be windows and the rest should be wall. That's good enough in my book. Now, so I need more steel sheets and I think for that I'll need steel from here. Regardless how jealously I've been trying to keep it away. Oh, this is smart. I'm just feeding it back. <laughs> the retard. Oh. What am what am I doing? Focus groundworks. Focus. First turn you off. There we go. That's a word. Then we put steel here and then we say steel sheets and print. Thank you. While I return the rest back to this guy. Nickel. There we go. It's just killing me. I'm gonna collect these first. I think that should be enough. Probably. There we go. Now Composite wall. Ooh, they look really ugly from the other side. I never knew. Okay, composite wall here. There we go. Composite wall here. Composite wall above. And then composite window. Oh, this is gonna look actually quite nice. beautiful now i need i think i need glass sheets and i have those as far as i know 47 yes perfect composite window Power low. i know i know and ultimately i shouldn't be using my light while i'm out but ultimately to be perfectly frank i don't care why is this why don't you let me ah there you go. Now it's all four. And I'm hoping that this is now airtight. Is there where to check? <laughs> uh, <laughs> smelting mining belts. Oh, I've done that, actually. I've done the smelting of the mining belt and I know how it hurts. So, yeah. Been there, done that several times actually and yes it is painful that close the door and temp should ride with with the sun yeah so we have but that, doesn't that take quite a while to rise let's see 19.6 well, we'll see it should rise also if i smelt something that's for sure And I'm gonna put the locker here and then I have plenty of room to actually set up uh, yeah it starts to rise perfect thanks all right now I think I want my locker here time for to do some interior decorating I'm on a tight schedule now there we go and you should be not in the wall but slightly in front of it there we go and I'm gonna be placing me ores here. So coal, there you go. Top right corner. These doors are a little bit tight though, I must say. But they're doable. Ah, I feel like Cartman trying to get inside. 
17 yes I'll take you 17 and then 50 yeah that's a little bit slight case of OCD kicking in here guys so yeah there we go perfect that's the ores that I'm smelting and now I've noticed hold on I've noticed that I actually have some cable coil here and what I want to be placing now not power controller not consoles active vent yes that's a thing and I'm gonna be placing it actually here somehow ish let me just quickly check I'm thinking somewhere here would actually be just perfect so that active vent will be taking stuff outwards perfect i'm a little bit low on am i again low on power what the hell am i working on charge low jeez have i been so busy that i never noticed that my power is draining like crazy well i guess time flies when you're having fun All right, uh, I said that the cable coil should be here. There we go, and I will need, I'm still learning how to get the hold of my inventory. There you go. I'll take you and then I'll place you here and then I'm gonna take power controller, vibe, valve I don't need, right now first things first pipes and that's i don't need a straight i need a corner that will be looking like that there you go perfect that puts you back and then we need the power first there we go so we shall put you on a corner that goes like that and then i'm gonna try with what you're suggesting here with the filling the gap here hold on straight straight come on turn damn you there you go so let's see i'm now gonna cut this guy and if i wonder if it should be smart enough to realize that i need a three-way corner here I'm really curious. What do you think? Will it know? So you're saying here and then I press C or I press C. Uh, that's a four way corner. Three way corner. Oh, awesome. This is fantastic. Dude, you are by now personal life savior. Uh, you get special honors. Thank you so much, Pythos. <laughs> Without that, my life would be a constant pain. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, I'm going to deconstruct the frame now. Perfect. And I am going to be placing this iron sheet here. So, now, pipe works. Yes, pipe straight. Um, come on, squeeze them you, there you go, straight, straight and straight and then it should be going outwards right now, so can I get out please, yes I can apparently, perfect, now that should be a corner and going down, there we go. That places the thing and will prepare for. I plan to have passive vents both and. Okay, yeah. I, I don't mind cutting corners, it's very handy stuff. Now, actually, now that I've walled myself completely in, I'm actually thinking of more steel frames, yes. Auto laid on steel frames. Chug away happily for some foreseeable future to come. 
right that because that will give me here access to be honest what I should have done is I should have put here I should have put this guy on this wall and then have this as a composite windows we should have much nicer view maybe I'll do that so it's about reorganizing stuff steel frames four five I think I need a couple more I think four and three I think I need seven ish I'll have okay I think that's enough let's see how it works so if I place you here, there we go. I don't want to fall down, please. Two, three, perfect. Four, yes, that's the word. I think I have just right amount. Ooh, I feel pretty good about myself right now. <laughs> Explosive mining charges. That would be a fun thing to test. I've never tested it yet. I have a feeling I will sooner rather than later. Iron wall, iron sheets. I need again steel sheets, don't I? Good thing I know that I need only seven, so... I mean, I could have done, uh, it was a blast, <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Six, seven, and eight. There we go, perfect. Now, back to welding stuff together for your viewing pleasure. So, construct frame, awesome. Fantastic. On portable tanks, yeah, they may plan to make them explode soon. Oh, really? So right now you can cram how much you want, but uh, sooner rather than later, it's going to be a blast as well. I understand. Okay, well, thanks for the heads up. Uh, then I should put some pressure valve regulator or something there just to be on the safe side. I mean, you know, tracking beacon, you're not helping at the moment, right? So, uh, steel sheets, yes, I could use to weld these. I don't think I need anything else right now apart from this I th I'm pretty sure this b welding this is a safe bet there we go perfect I'm gonna store you away and I'm just gonna relocate that locker quickly so I can make some glass doors for ultimate viewing pleasures of people watching inside what I do but I mean not that I'm playing in multiplayer which would be also cool, you know. Maybe that should be, maybe I should do that. Put a live stream and then we play together. That might be nice. Yeah, uh, if you get a clip of it uh, blowing or you abusing, uh, you know, explosive charges, if you have somewhere online on the video, I would love to see it, Pythos. Okay, now back to the issue at hand there we go and like this mm. Mm, feels good let's see how it will feel after i deconstruct these walls first no not that one i always forget about the tool which i'm supposed to use here what was that tool wrench no walls oh that one right 
deconstruct composite walls and now I need a wrench or no not a wrench but I need that saw composite wall yes composite wall perfect so return these pick up and now we build a composite window here come on composite window there we go one oops not there two right then we use these sheets composite window uh, I'm actually thinking can I move this locker one tile in that's a question there we go like that but then it obstructs the door no then it will stay here I don't care the fact that it obstructs this window a little bit I'll have to live with it okay uh, you got a clip link ready have it as a command on my channel on x3 along with the unfortunate mining has been smelted yeah uh, send the link if you can in the chat or I don't know I don't know I'm actually very new to twitch this is maybe my fourth or fifth live stream so I'm actually like I said a very new so I don't know if you can post the link but if you can you know I mean feel free to do so in the chat alternatively you know uh, connect with me on uh, oh perfect thank you alternatively you know I have also um, a YouTube channel and Facebook page so let me see if I can put oh man sorry guys for this interruption I made a very very stupid mistake I basically stopped the stream before the interruption guys oops not caps sorry for the interruption guys yeah i'm basically i'm an idiot okay lesson learned no more hotkeys for pressing to start recording that's a very very pricey lesson to pay portable tank okay so we drag this portable tank somehow there we go and then we use the wrench tool to connect it there we go perfect all right so that thing should uh, complete hopefully our little escapade in terms of constructing stuff here and let's just connect the wiring then I need the corner which turns like that then do all the straights and then here it will be a junction hi welcome back I'm sorry I made a stupid thing uh, because I accidentally pressed the hotkey to stop recording as opposed of showing my stuff here so yeah sorry about that right now let's say we need some iron so let's test this thingy I want to see if the pressure will be building but I want to get my pad and in pad what do I have I have cartridge tracker I don't need cartridge tracker I want cartridge not network analyzer but Atmos analyzer yes swap well not swap but take and then I press R and 
I replace the cartridge tracker with a Atmos analyzer, which I return back. Yes, this is all wonderful mechanics. All right, press, close. There we go. So when I press this one now, I should be able to turn it on atmosphere when I close the door. And if I do take, for example, iron to smelt, and I start smelting it, set inward, so it's going outward. There we go. All the gases, including the atmospheric ones, okay, are going out. So this is just a short test to see that the pressure will be building. Okay, stopping the vent, killing off the arc furnace. There is still plenty iron to smelt. And iron will ultimately go into the this pipe panel pipe bender because we need it there anyway. So now what I want to go and confirm is that something is here. Portable tank. Uh, e. Yeah, just the regular mix. Okay, so if I... A little bit more ox or nitrogen. Right, now what we'll do is you I want to be set outward and you are set outward you are gonna be set inward and you're gonna vent everything from that tank out I want then I want that tank to be completely empty there we go now that tank is completely empty perfect we're gonna shut you down we're gonna set you to pull stuff in there and before we start smelting we're gonna close the power door low. yeah I know the power is low I will continue just give me a second now uh, active vent on I want this room to be completely pressureless I want to make a vacuum in this room and I'm hoping to achieve that. So, there we go. Almost. Almost, come on. A little more, a little more. This is actually, guys, the final test to confirm that this, uh, at, well, gas capture chamber works as expected. It takes a while for this pressure to drop. So, yeah. Six, Pascal, five, four, come on, three, two, almost vacuum, come on. Oh, come on, 0806, how long does it take to create vacuum? I, I would imagine actually a lot. And do we have vacuum, please? Oh, don't go 0065, come on. Okay, getting rid of oxygen, nitrogen, pollutants, 100% CO2, great. And, well, it says zero megapascal, so I'm guessing that's good enough. Now. I want to turn on this on and I, I want to this to start smelting. CO2 and lot of X's and 
active vent. I want to be you to be sucking this all out. So lots of gases would be coming out this way while this one is melting. Okay, it's done. So not a lot of pressure, but I still it will be cool that it gets out because it's a lot of these gases and stuff. Right. I would call that a successful test actually because now when we open this air will rush in good thing that the pressure isn't a portable tank 80% pollutants and CO2 20% perfect I call this a successful test for sure Batteries are full. I will just change the one in my suit because, well, I need to. And then, guys, I will uh, have to wrap it up for today. So, I mean, like if you like the episode, I'm terribly sorry for, you know, the interruption. But I hope to see you all guys next time. And... Um, yeah, do be sure to, you know, leave a like, follow or whatever you that you do on Twitch. And make sure if you want to connect with me on other social media, here are my links. So do be sure to like, subscribe. I have plenty of other videos on YouTube. This, as I said, I just started. But I will see you all in the next... I will see you all in the next episode. So once again, thank you very much for watching. This is Groundworks, signing off.